This is Tanakil Desert. It's not sand like normal desert. Pure salt. Aish! 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 Long before the first sun rays peak over the horizon, thousands of camels ventures for archaic journey to the end of the world. The place so hot, the mirage appears early in the morning. Here, an ancient sea left salt deposits thousands of meters thick. A home of nomadic Afar tribesmen, as tough and hostile as the landscape that shaped them for millennia. This is Tanakil, the cruelest place on earth. A unique land where Africa is torn apart, where earthquakes split ground and volcanoes belch fire. A team of three daredevils set up to explore this last frontier. Our journey begins on the Ethiopian highlands, as caravans of donkeys, mules and camels greet the dawn. As the sun peaks over the horizon, we start to descend over the greatest escarpment on Earth to Danakil Depression. Water carved narrow but spectacular gorges through the escarpment, so the massive walls of rock shelter the caravans from the morning sun. Countless caravans carry the precious cargo of salt from the depression to be sold to cattle peasants in the highlands and abroad. We find two camel handlers still resting. They had been walking last night till midnight. While enjoying their simple breakfast, we ask simple question. Mekele to Arho and back. From uh, Mekele to Berhali two days. From Mekele to Arho two days. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand, but I think it's more days than... than... So four days there and four days back. The camels are visibly tired and worn down on the way up with salt cargo. They need three weeks to recover before the next journey. Some camels die of exhaustion and litter this road to hell. The Danakil Depression is one of the cruelest environments on our planet. The scorching sun makes any journey very difficult, if not impossible. Afar women are very shy on camera. They believe we are a kind of thieves, stealing their spirit. Many times they throw stones at us. The only permanent inhabitants in the Danakil are the Afar. They share a general lifestyle of traveling across the desert with their goats and camels in search of pastures during their region's too meager rainy seasons. Berahile is a frontier town of about 2,000 people, and there is not a single toilet in the whole godforsaken place. The drying meat from goat here. So we're having coffee with the chief of police here to my left. <laughs> The permission to proceed is given. The road is bad, suitable only for 4x4s. After spending night at the salt miners' hamlet of Hamet Ella, we break camp early to greet the dawn at the Dalol volcano. 
This is the hottest place on earth. The stage of sulfur is already here. Dalol is the earth's lowest sub-aerial volcano. The hike starts at the base, 130 meters below sea level. Like an alien planet, we negotiate a strange landscape with weird formations and walk over some kind of coral reefs. The Dalo crater was formed during an eruption in 1926 and it is entirely built by salt. Liquid rock fuels hot springs here. Their mineral salts and sulfur create a landscape of vivid colors and otherworldly formations. Oh. <laughs> Brand got into trouble here. Ew. Pure sulfuric mud. Is it bad? Okay, he's safe now. We came upon the ruins of a ghost town. The crumbling houses were all made from blocks of salt. All trucks and steam trains. Here Americans mine potash. Here the volcano ate into the Land Rover. Due to the harsh conditions, they abandoned the site in the 1960s. We push on across the Danakil Desert to Dodom, a shifting nomadic camp, where we will help to once again negotiate permission and procure camels. We're just busy with some more negotiations, just with the next regional chief uh, to get up to the volcano, and for camel handlers, camels, guy, more guys, we've got to take more guys, more guns, <laughs> take more guns, and um, just having lunch. Injera? Mm. Mm. We got the gun, we can go now. We thought Virahili was bad. Then we thought Tamat Ella couldn't get worse. Now we just don't care anymore. <laughs> now we are stuck here. Deep trench stopping us going to Ertali. We finally made it up to Eta Ali. We arrived um, quite late in the evening at the foot of the, of the mountain. The volcano last night, it was dark and as you can see all the gases behind me, they were all illuminated from, from the volcano as we were walking up. So that would kind of motivate us to, to walk up quickly. There was a massive landslide here and we couldn't see it very well because it was full of smoke and dust. And that is the landslide. Now, places all around this crater on the edge of the rim that are cracked and any time can fall. It's actually terrifying to think one can fall down into molten lava with a landslide. The thermovision camera shows that the temperature of the fountains is in the range of between 1130 and 1145 degrees centigrade. The crusted over surface is only 440 degrees. 
The lake also exhibits ever-changing patterns, like this beautiful firebird. In the morning, our campsite looks very basic. We are eagerly awaiting camels to bring more supplies and equipment. The caravan brought supplies of food, equipment and the most importantly water. In the Danakil and especially here on the volcano, water means everything. The camels have also brought unexpected and unwelcome visitors, the Afar gunmen. <laughs> Where are you from? South Africa. <laughs> you know what he say? Yeah. Is there white people there? <laughs> the Afar have respect for the volcano and are afraid of its summit. They believe that their ancestors circle about it on flying horses. They demand permit on paper. It's of no interest to them that we pay their chief for permission to stay on the volcano. One of them enters into typical negotiations with our guide, while others position themselves around with their guns. They don't negotiate. They just keep watch flies on us. The Kalashnikovs ready for the action. Pay another bribe to stay here a few more hours. It is the last night to soak the experience. Sensational spectacle. Hot winds from the bowels of the earth. Sights, sounds and smells. The greatest show on earth. Some of the rarest volcanic phenomena in the world. The primeval forces at work.